besties, welcome back. Today we are reorganizing for the new year because we want to start fresh and feel fresh. So I figured I would reorganize my whole bookshelf, change up some of the room decor that I have, and just begin anew and have that fresh, fun new year feeling. I actually started reorganizing a little bit. I just cleaned my desk and like reorganized that a bit. And even just doing that, like just cleaning up and having things feel fresh just feels so much better. Like I fully believe that when you have like a clean space, you have a clear head and it just makes you feel so much better. So love that. Let me show you guys what I did. So this is what the desk looks like. I have my jewelry stand, my sunglasses. I got this bracelet as a gift. I thought it was really cute. Two new books that I got that I'll show a whole book haul later. My little makeup organizer. And I just think it looks so cute now. I actually just got something super exciting in the mail. My Odie, and it has little like coffees on it, which I think is so cute. But this is a robe that I got. Already it feels so soft and so cozy. I'm so excited. So this was actually gifted from the Odie and you could use my code MeganCariati35 for $35 off your order. So definitely use that if you want to get yourself one. I would definitely recommend it. Let's try it on. And I also have a bulky sweater on, so it won't be as like bulky, but is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it. And I just think like the little coffees on it is just very on brand for me because I'm a coffee addict. So I freaking love it. I think it's so cute. This is just going to be perfect for the days where I'm just like snuggling up, reading my book. So thank you, Odie, for sending me this. Literally so cute. So cozy. Like, look at the cute little coffee cups. I think it's so cute. So for Christmas, I got this cute little blue pillow. So I think I want to just like add more blue into my room. And I got some of these like posters, which it's the same ones from Amazon. This is also from Amazon, but I got new like picture posters from Amazon. And these ones are like blue purple. So those ones were like part of the green set. So I'm going to switch those out, maybe move those to like a different side of my wall just to add a little bit more to my room. But I definitely want to like bring in the blue for my bedding. Just change it up, you know? So I have like a bunch of posters and I'll probably just like lay them out and see which ones... I want to put up. But first, let's take the old down because out with the old and in with the new. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you. Something about you I like. About you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. I think I'm just going to start by taking everything out and then reorganize after and I unfortunately have to put away my little Christmas trees because Christmas is over because I could even try flipping some of the books over and see if they fit that way so a lot to play around with until we get it feeling fresh and looking cute and I also usually like to organize by genre or like by author on the top shelf I had my like Sarah J Mass fantasy shelf which I feel like I still want to keep but I would love to be able to fit Crescent City in there too and have like a full Sarah J Mass shelf I wonder if I could flip these over. Oh yeah. Wait, that actually looks cute. I kind of like the look of that. It's like a little thing, but I think it lo looks cute to me. Also, can we talk about these covers? I got the box set from Amazon and like the Throne of Glass covers, these ones are just so pretty. I think they're so gorgeous and I love them. Also, a little reading update while we're at it. I have been listening to audiobook like the, dram the dramatized graphic audio audiobook for A Court of Silver Flames, and it's so good. I might have like a reading vlog including this coming up, but I'll have to see, but I only have this much left, so we're making progress. I'm on chapter 56 and loving it so far. Does that look cute? Like, how do we feel about that top shelf? I don't know if I like it. So I have 
Intrigued, Happy Place by Emily Henry, the Summer It's Been Pretty series. I have The Summer of Broken Rules and Love in Other Words, which is one of my all-time favorite romance books. This book is so good. I have Things We Never Got Over, Things We Hide From the Light, and Things We Left Behind by Lucy Score, and I think these covers are just so pretty, so I'll put those together. I have some of the books of the Addicted series. This is the rule book, and this is a advanced reader copy, so it's not like the actual cover, it's just like the print cover. So I think I'll stick that there, and I think that shelf looks good. So a little book haul, I guess, too, from the books that I got for Christmas. Checkmate by Ali Hazelwood. And this is a Rival to Lovers romance. It has to do with chess, but I heard that it's not like, it's not like hard to understand. Like, it's not like if you don't know chess that you won't get this. Like, it's just a cute YA romance book. And I love Ellie Hazelwood's romance books, so highly looking forward to this one. And then I also got The Seven Year Slip, which I've heard so many good things about. Like, everyone who's read this has had, like, nothing but good things to say about this book. So I think this book, it's like an apartment that's, like, seven years in the past and seven years in the future or something like that. Yeah, he exists in the past, seven years in the past to be exact, and she quite literally lives seven years in his future. Her aunt always said that the apartment was a pinch in time, a place where moments blended like watercolors. She also said that love is never a matter of time, but a matter of timing. So I'm so excited to read this book. I've heard nothing but good things, and I've heard nothing but good things about this book too. And then I have The Natural series, which I read the first two books, but I still need to read the last two books. And I also have The Inheritance Games, which is also by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, so I kind of want to put all her books together. So I'll just put that there. And I did read the whole series of this, but I just don't have the physical copies of it. I only have the first one. And then along the lines of like mystery, I feel like I want to put A Good Girl's Guide to Murder with it. I have the entire Harry Potter series, which I have yet to read, but it's definitely on my list for 2024. I have Belladonna and Fox Love, and I took the outside covers off of the hardcover because I think the inside is just so much prettier. Like, I think they're gorgeous. So I love the look of that. And then I have Trial of the Sun Queen and Rule of the Aurora King. I have Dance of Thieves and Iron Flame by Rebecca Yaros. I don't have the physical copy of Fourth Wing, so I only have the second one. But it has the sprayed edges, which I think is so cool. And then I have Six of Crows, so I think I'm going to put that in my little fantasy shelf. And since I have like mostly the hardcovers there, I'll just like kind of put all the hardcovers together. And I have Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco, and this was really, really good too. I read her other series, Kingdom of the Wicked, but I read that on like my Kindle, so I don't have the physical books, but I also really love that series too. And The Hundred Loves of Juliet by Evelyn Skye. These two books have been on my TBR for a while now too. I have A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and I think I'm going to put all the fantasy books in one shelf, and then the hardcovers, I'm going to move to the bottom. I have The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni, and I haven't picked up the other books in the series, but if you guys know the series and really love it, tell me to pick up the series because I really enjoyed it, but like it wasn't my favorite, but I've heard also that the series like gets more exciting like as it goes on, so I don't know. But I did enjoy this, but it just wasn't like one of my favorites, so don't know. But if it's really good, let me know if I should continue. And this was sent to me by Maz Rafferty. It's her book, Heir of Broken Fate. Another romantic fantasy that looks cool. Powerless by Lauren Roberts, which was literally so good. I have Fall and Wrath and Ruin by Jennifer L. Armitrout, and I really, really like this book. I definitely recommend it if you want like a good fantasy romance to read. I love how Jennifer L. Armitrout writes romance in a fantasy book. Like, it's just so fun. I have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, which I still haven't gotten to yet, but I really do want to continue on with it. And I did start a little bit of it, but it's just had a harder time getting into this one, but I definitely want to try again because I've heard nothing but great things about this series. So that's on my list for 2024 too. And these were a couple of fantasy romance books that were sent to me. This is Night of the Witch. This one is Into the Skies, and this one is Somewhere in the Deep. So I'll put those together too. I have Crave by Tracy Wolf, which is a vampire human romance. It's like kind of Twilight-esque. If you saw the video with me and my friend Jess, she picked this book out for me, and I'm excited to read this one too. I have Magnolia Parks, and this one is the old cover. Finding 13, which I really, really, really want to get to this in 2024. It's been on my list for a while now, and I started it, didn't continue it, but I think just because it like the size of it just intimidates me a little bit, but I do want to get to it. It's high up on my TBR. I have Corrupt by Penelope Douglas, which I actually surprisingly did enjoy this book. I know it's like a little controversial, you know, but like when you're in the mood for a dark romance, I would definitely recommend her series, like the Devil's Night series. I thought it was pretty good. So what can I say? There are just some books that like, there's no reason like for enjoying them, but like you just do. Like that was me with Ice Planet Barbarians too, where like it's like almost funny, but yeah, I did enjoy it. And then these three books are actually self-help books and I really love them. I think if you're looking for a good like self-help, self-development kind of books, I love the Four Agreements and 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think. 
And then I have Big Magic, Creative Living Beyond Fear. And I actually haven't read this one yet, but it's been on my list. I think I read a little bit of it, but I love all of these books. So I think I'm gonna put them on the bottom shelf. <laughs> Okay, so here's all the books that I got for Christmas. I'm so excited for all of these reads. First up is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. And I read the whole Shadowhunter series, I think in high school or whatever, and I thought about maybe rereading it, but it's just like a lot to reread. So I don't think I'm gonna reread the series. I think I'm just gonna continue on and start with the Clockwork Angel series, which I got. I'm so excited I got the box set. So I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. So this is part of the Infernal Devices series. So it's like the Shadowhunter series, I think, then the Infernal Devices series, then this series, which is The Dark Artifices, and I think there's three books in this series too. And then I think the last one is called The Last Hours, and then you read that after everything. So I think that's how it's supposed to go. So since I read the Shadowhunter series, I think I'm gonna just jump right into the Infernal Devices series, which I'm so excited. I've heard so many good things about this, and it's kind of like fantasy, but like Victorian London, which I love that setting. So I'm, I feel like I'm gonna love this series. So I'm super excited for that. And then after that, I'm gonna jump into The Dark Artifices, Artifices? Artifices? series, Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, and I've also heard great things. I've just heard great things about this author, and I haven't really, like, delved into a lot of her work other than the Shadowhunter series when I was in high school, so I'm really just excited to, like, dive back into this, like, urban fantasy, and I also just love having, like, okay, so yes, it is intimidating when there's, like, a lot of books in a series, but I sometimes really love that because then, like, you have this, like, whole world that you can jump into, and you know that, like, it's gonna take you a while to get through it, you know what I mean? Like, you can fully immerse yourself in, like, this new world and these new characters, and I just love it, so. So I have a feeling I'm gonna love this entire series, and I'm so excited to, like, jump into it. Next up, I saw this on Goodreads and I thought it looked really interesting. It's The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea and it just seems like a, just like a beautiful fantasy romance, but like, I don't know, it just seems like so magical and whimsical and I love like a whimsical fantasy story. I think this is gonna be like a, one of those like beautiful, cozy fantasy stories. So I'm really looking forward to reading this too. And then another fantasy, a lot of fantasy romance. If you haven't guessed already, like my main two genres are like romance and fantasy. A lot of these books are either fantasy or fantasy romance or romance. So next up is book one of the Seven Realms series. And this is another one that like I always saw like popped up on my Goodreads, but I never really checked it out. And this is like a YA, I think it's like a thief and a princess. And it's just like, you know, one of those like fun fantasy books, I guess. I don't really, I also like don't really know what this is about. But it has really good reviews on Goodreads, so I figured, you know what, let's branch out, let's try something new, and I'm excited to see what the series is about. I don't know, so I'm excited to read the series too and start that. One book that I was so excited about, but then I kept hearing mixed reviews about it, and like, it kind of discouraged me a little bit, which I hate that, like, I shouldn't look at reviews before, like, reading the book but I ended up, I was like watching booktube and book talk and like there's a lot of like controversy over this book of like whether it's good or bad. And for me, like with the Magnolia Park series, I only read Magnolia Parks and I have to say like Jessa Hastings writing is so beautiful that like I really wanted to like that book. But like when I look back, I don't know if I like that book just cause I don't know if I liked like the whole Gossip Girl setting and I didn't really like fully love the characters, but you can't help but also like love it a little bit just cause her writing is so beautiful. So I was really hoping that like with a fantasy romance because this is a Peter Pan retelling So I'm hoping that I'll like this a lot more because I did like Jessa Hastings writing But maybe it was like the characters or the setting or like the plot wise that I didn't like in Magnolia Park But I also still want to give like the Magnolia Park series a chance and like read Daisy Hates and see how I feel about it then Now that I know that like I feel like with Jessa Hastings characters you never fully like them It's just something to get used to because I'm not used to that in a lot of books But I feel like there is something to be said about like it's kind of beautiful in its own way that like her characters are flawed And they're not always likable So I'm hoping that like going into this book with that mindset of like I might not like all the characters and they're flawed But like that's okay and it's like a I think this is just like a darker retelling. So I'm trying to go into it with like no expectations really and see how I feel about it. But I was really looking forward to this, but now like that I've heard some bad reviews, it's got me a little scared, but I'm still gonna read it and see how I feel about it. Cause who knows, I might love it. But yeah, I just hate when that happens when you're really excited about a book and then you hear people talking about it and saying like they didn't like it and like DNF'd it. So like I'm a little discouraging. So I'm not like as excited to pick up this book, but I still am very curious to see how I feel about it because you never know, like there could be a book that some people don't like and that you like, you know, that's just how reading goes. So I'm not gonna let it dissuade me. So I am excited to pick up this book and see how I feel about it because I didn't fully love Magnolia Parks, but I did like her writing. So I'm hoping that like in this fantasy fairy tale setting that maybe I'll like this book more. I don't know, so we'll see. And then the last book that I got is 
The Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare, and this is a fantasy romance. I'm just like having a Cassandra Clare moment here, and this is a new series, so it's not a part of like the Infernal Devices or the Shadowhunter series at all. It's like a, it's a new series. I don't know if how many books are going to be in this one, but just wanted to check this out too. I've heard good things about this book as well. So basically I have a whole shelf of Sarah J Maas that I want to get through and now a whole shelf of Cassandra Clare that I want to get to. And I'm just so excited for all the books that I'm going to be reading in 2024. And if you've read any of these books, let me know how you thought about them or which ones you really loved because maybe they'll be bumped up the TBR. Let's add them to the bookshelf. I'll probably like readjust and change everything up as I go along because that's just how it goes But for now, I think I really love it and I just love having everything feel fresh for the new year So I'm super excited for 2024 and all the new reads and all the new things that are gonna happen And I'm excited to bring in that good new year energy So I hope you guys enjoyed this little redecorating reorganizing my bookshelf and little Christmas book haul If you have any videos that you'd like to see from me in the new year Let me know down below in the comments. I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in the next one